My name is Ashlyn, and this is my first channel for YouTube. My channel is called Ashlyn DIY. Before I get started on this video and this DIY video, I want to just talk about Flappy Bird, how it sucks. Sharks can eat it, whatever, because I hate that game. I only get four. Four points only, and I today I had witnessed someone get 47 points. How is that possible? I suck at this game, and I always complain, but I still play. Anyways, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make these little makeup brush holders. It's super simple. And then I'm gonna make another art piece for your wall. And let's just get this video started. All right, you're going to need a glass candle holder and a glass cup, and I got both of these from the dollar store. Also, you're going to need beads and a hot glue gun. I got both of these from a local craft store. From here, you're going to take your glass candle holder and your hot glue gun, and you're gonna start hot gluing. Make sure you don't get the hot glue on your fingers or anything, because it burns and it's really hot. From here, you're going to take your glass cup and put that on top of your glass candle holder and make sure it sticks. From here, you're going to open your beads and you're going to start pouring the beads in the glass cup. Make sure you get a cone because it cuts really, really messy and all the beads go everywhere. The last thing you're going to do is to get all your makeup brushes and just stick them in there. And there is your masterpiece. The second DIY, you're going to need canvas, blue tape, two brushes, one sponge brush, Mod Podge, gold glitter, and three acrylic paints. Then you're going to need a mixing tray to put all your paints on. And then you're going to start taping and putting glitter on the canvas. So right now I'm just putting on tape. Just do it freely, open-minded. So right now I'm just putting the paint on the mixing tray. From here I'm taking the brush and to start painting. I kind of made a mistake. I shouldn't have used the brush. I should have used the sponge brush because it didn't leave those stroke marks. So right now I'm using Mod Podge to put the glitter on. So Mod Podge is like glue. It comes out clear so I really, I really love it because it's clear glue practically. Make sure when you put the glitter, make sure you get a piece of paper underneath because it gets super duper messy because you're using a lot of glitter, as you can tell. From here, you're going to do some touch-ups. You're going to do a lot of touch-ups. And then you're going to untape and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful white, perfect clear, clean line. And from here, this, these are your two DIYs, your ending of them, and I hope you guys like them. Well, anyways, I hope that you guys liked my two DIY videos, and stay tuned for all my other videos that I will be making. And subscribe, like, give it a good thumbs up, and comment below if you guys want me to do any DIYs or whatever. So, goodbye!